Hi, my name is Becky Logue, and I'm a dental hygienist, and I'm also the inventor of the Dental Rat. This is a quick instructional video to demonstrate how simple and easy the Dental Rat will run your software. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to Natalie. She's an experienced hygienist that's been using the dental rat regularly, and she's going to give you some quick ergonomic tips. Now, a hygienist can use either their right or left foot. I choose to use my left foot. I sit in a comfortable position and rest my leg bent at a 90-degree angle. I also rest my foot upon the dental rat. I make sure that I can see the computer screen so that I am able to go from screen to screen. Now let's show you how the dental rat works. At the top of my dental rat is the mouse. At the bottom of the dental rat is the left mouse click and heel rest. Across the middle, I have numbers 1 through 8. To activate 1 through 4, I press and release. 1, 2, 3, 4. To activate numbers 5 through 8, I press and hold down for more than one second. 5, 6, 7, and 8. For numbers higher than 8, we'll talk about that with your software. When you're first starting out, you might want the mouse a little bit slower. To slow down the mouse, press the left two buttons down and hold them there. And at the same time, press down on the joystick with your other foot. As you gain more experience, you'll probably want the mouse to go a little bit faster. To speed up the mouse, press the left two buttons down and then push up on the joystick with your other foot. Okay. This is the OpChart Perio program. You're now ready to begin entering numbers into the computer. To do that, just press the buttons on your dental wrap. One, two, three, four. Hold it down for the higher numbers, five, six, seven, and eight. Now for numbers higher than eight, just take your mouse over to the lower right portion of your screen and there's numbers nine and above. Place your mouse on the nine and then click back with your heel and the nine is entered. If you have like a 14, take the mouse over to the 14, rock back with your heel and a 14 is entered. Now you can also mark bleeding at the same time. So just rock back with your heel when the mouse is on bleeding and you can just quickly go through a perio chart marking bleeding as you go. If you have areas of a recession, take your mouse over to the recession, rock back with your heel, and then enter the recession that correlates with that tooth. Now if you make a mistake, which can happen, then go over, take your mouse over to the word that says back over by the over in the lower right portion of the screen and go back to the number that you made the mistake on let's say the mesial of 9 was only supposed to be a 2 so I'm now on the mesial of 9 I enter the 2 now I can either input the numbers the same way or I can take my mouse over to that over to next and then click with my heel and every time I rock back on my heel it advances so I can go back to where I was prior to the mistake and continue perio charting. Okay, a really fast and easy way to update a perio chart is to pull up the existing perio chart from the last time they were in and then go to edit the, that exam. Now I can change the numbers, but I don't have to re-input all the numbers again. So let's say teeth one through four have stayed the same, but now tooth number six is a four, four, four. I take the mouse over to six, rock back with my heel, and enter the new numbers, four, four, four. And we'll keep going along in seven, eight, nine, 10 are all the same, 
but tooth 11 is now uh, 533. So I put my mouse there, rock back with my heel, and now enter the new numbers, 533. Three. I continue to do this through the whole mouth, only changing the teeth that have the pockets that have changed. Now let's go to your x-rays. I had previously minimized my x-rays and interoral camera pictures and I can have it readily available just by using my mouse and my left mouse click which is also the heel rest. So to get the image that I want, if I wanted the bite wing, I take my mouse over to the image I want and then I rock back on my heel and activate the left mouse click and that image comes up. If I wanted to change screens, I take my mouse over to the other picture, rock back with my heel, and that image comes up. So I can go from screen to screen easily just by moving my mouse and rocking back with my heel. Now you know how to use the intraoral camera and the x-ray pictures with your dental rat. We want to thank you for your time and your interest in the dental rat. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us.